Hey guys, Colin here. Welcome to NASCAR Heat Tour. Today I'm doing Xfinity Series qualifying for the 2018 schedule at Las Vegas. So this is a setup I am running today so you guys can know. So session one qualifying. Here we go. Took a little bit to get that car started. See how we do. Only one on the track right now. We beat everyone out. Most of my setups, they get a wicked good first lap or two, and then after that they become, you know, average. At least that's how this setup is. I know it's set up as my race setup, if you saw it briefly there. But that's just how I do it, because I tend to race the same setup for both, and I adjust, like, two little things. I have the wedge way down on this car, but still, overall, uh, I'm not snapping loose or nothing like that, which is weird. When you're running wedge this low, you really should be snapping loose when you do turns and stuff. I've been trying to have a car of less control on the turn so I could, you know, do more with it, but between running the wedge at 45 and 49, I notice almost no difference, so that's... I doubt it affects our time, but... I always mess up the whole pinning thing here. That's one of the things you do have to adjust. Um, you'll overheat, but if you're going out there and making two hot laps, you can get away with 50. And that's my strategy, typically, is to make hot laps. And that's your best bet. I typically don't even qualify well anyways. I happen to get the pole in the trucks, but I doubt I'm going to get the pole in the Xfinity series. So, we'll see how that goes. Only one car up there. We're going to get out of his way. I know I shouldn't have came up on the track this early, but I do what I do. That's just how it is. Car has no aero damage right now, looking brand new. This is my custom 704 games, Camaro, all Chevy all day. Once again, not very loose. Car just feels very nice. Nothing to it that is all that surprising. Hopefully this lap time is going to be like a minute and 40. 59 seconds, yeah. Nothing good. Running the 70s in the high lane. Eh. Alright. I'm not sure. This car is not too remarkable. I'm disappointed that I can't get a really good qualifying time with it. It's kind of annoying. I was suspecting more out of dropping the wedge so much. Like, my back end should be what's sliding out, yet I'm still turning up front more than the back sliding out, which is weird. Not really supposed to be how it goes. But let's see how this time's looking. First place with that one. Maybe it is a good setup. I don't know. Good of a lap as I could possibly run, but... We'll put this one in two and we'll call it good there, simulate it and see how we do overall. Maybe get a draft off this Toyota right here, the 24. Give us a little extra speed into the inside line here, running the 170s. Holding down low. Turn a little lighter now, lift up a little bit. Alright, we're going to dive down low this time. Nope, nothing better. 20th. Alright, so we did advance the session too, but... Hmm. Maybe we can make some more adjustments here, see how things are going. Maybe lower the shocks a little bit. Two clicks each or something. Maybe that'll loosen the car up. I'm just going for it. I just want a looser car. That's it. I just want a car that's more slick. I have way more control of in the turns, and I would think all the shit I've done to it would do that, but it seems not. Alright, qualify session two. Here we go. So you might want to update your setup to that, potentially, or the first one, whichever does get you 20th place, which is cool. I don't have a lot of patience for qualifying, to be honest with you. I Nine times out of ten, I don't even do it. I just start from the back of the pack. But starting from the back of the pack, it's kind of lame. Not really fun. Like, honestly, I hate doing it. You have so much work to do, and your car is banged up by the time you get to the front with the AI. And also, I kind of almost prefer, obviously, to start from the front. But also, if you start from the pole, it's kind of boring because you'll most likely lead the whole race, so that's another thing to keep in mind. Come to turn one. High 170s, seeing what we can do here. Might tap the wall just barely off of it. I got a vibration from it, but I don't think I touched the wall. Doesn't look like I did. It looks like we might have to throw two laps at this one. See what we can make happen. You can run a little lower and faster in this turn. A little bit, nothing serious, but you can do it. How's this lap looking? 31, 979. Nine. Not the lap time I was looking for. Not as this isn't going to be it either. I mean, if we can keep it above 163, then that'll definitely help out. But 
We'll have to try running the lower line next lap completely. Take a little slower lap time and see how we can do. I'm just gonna hold the high line this time, just because I did it earlier. Come down so I can turn light coming out of the turn. Get extra speed for this lap. Coming to the line, third lap. This is our final lap. We're just gonna have to see how it goes. Still not sticking to that bottom, unfortunately. Still just sliding up. Unfortunate. Just gonna have to take what we get here. Not looking like the pole is gonna be what we get. Unless it was a 32 that I ran last time, I don't remember. We're gonna find out right now how this setup really is. Diving down low. To the grass almost. And we're gonna see how that does. Actually, that was a lot better. <laughs> Seventh place right now of this setup. Session three. A little revving before we go. Warm up these tires right away. Speed up quick. We're gonna try to only do two laps for this qualifying session. We're gonna see how we pair out. So we're looking for a 31 8. That's about what we're gonna aim for. Coming to the back stretch on our warm up lap. Wiggle around a little bit. Get these tires a little warm down low hold it but not too tight so we can keep as much speed coming out as we can unturn and full throttle well we've been full throttle but coming to the line at 180 miles an hour looking pretty good running this around 171 holding the lower line because it is our first lap time so our tires are still very much new and able to go wherever we really want them to down the back stretch So you guys know, I really only get off the throttle. I don't really apply much brake. Very light brake sometimes if I'm coming in a little extra fast, but overall I don't typically do it. Down low again. 31.833. That is a pretty damn good lap. We'll see what we can do with lap two, and we're going to call it after that. I don't think this lap's going to be as good, to be honest. We'll see what comes of it. Uh, and running those 170s. Perfect turn on this one. Maybe get a better lap here. We will see. How's it going to look? Dive down low. 31, 731. I'm very happy with that lap time. That should get us very up close to the pole, if not the pole itself. Going to lay off the gas now. Well, I'm in the gas, but I guess we'll switch to neutral. Just coast back to the pits now. No car behind us right now. Get down on the down on the apron. Watch Slow down speed. the 45. Watch right there. 45 miles an hour, and I'm gonna assume that we got the pole. Pole with that setup, guys. Be sure to look at it. Use it if you want it. It will get you the pole. We're running 105 for difficulty, so. Looks like a pretty good setup. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to leave a like rating, subscribe below if you've not done so already, and also when you subscribe, be sure to click the notification bell so you know every time I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next episode coming about two hours after this one, which is the race at Las Vegas, because that is the race tonight. So, see you guys in the next episode. Adios.